Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. Last episode we went through the Beast Makers overworld and completed all the levels within it, and now we'll be moving on over to the next area. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Me too. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Sounds awesome. So we're moving on over to the Dreamweavers. Are you ready to go? I think we are, let's head on into it hop off his head and go to the Dreamweaver's world. So this is the second to last world. There's this world, another world, and then that's it. We've completed Spiral 1. So super duper exciting. We'll probably have a bonus episode after that one that will just sort of go over whatever skill points we wanna get or anything like that, any kind of like final completion. And then the episode after that, which would be what? Episode eight or nine would be Spyro 2. So I'm excited to you know continue making all that progress. I saw there's some green hills in the background there. I don't know if that was from Beast Makers or if that was from Dreamweavers. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Not really much you can do on the hot air balloon. When you're flying, you can sort of move around and roll and torch things. You can't do anything on the balloon. That's unfortunate, but here we are. Oh, this looks so cool. Going down. Oh yeah, I do remember this. This is a tough overworld. Probably the toughest overworld. Oh gosh, whoa. There's a lot of little mysteries with it too. Uh, the big thing that we wanna focus on is in the center of the map, there's a cannon. It's like a weird magical cannon. Oh, and I guess the uh, chickens in this area are actually just mushrooms. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the vibrance on everything. This is probably the second prettiest overworld. The, the, over, the prettiest overworld is definitely the first one, but this one is not far behind. I love it. So we're gonna make our way over this way. There's like a magic cannon that'll like change the size of things. And you have to sort of do that strategically because when things are too big, sometimes you just can't beat them. Get that mushroom. Like this guy. We, we normally can't beat him up, but somebody turned him small, so we can just hit him like that, which is nice and useful. Okay, I do see a couple of green gems. Oh, this is so cool, I love it. So we're gonna have to, I think, yeah, jump through this, glide on over, and I see a couple more guys. Getting rid of you. Yeah, these two are a pain in the butts, because I can't beat them up when they're big like that. And I don't know if the cannon reaches them. I just gotta focus on this stuff for now. Whoa, ow, oh gosh, oh gosh. Hit him again, hit him again. Thank you, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, awesome. So I don't think I can deal with those guys, that's fine. Fool's errand. Oh, I get a trophy for that though, interesting. There's a couple of things to find, but I think I might save some of this for when I loop back around. You'll see why in a moment. Got it. But these guys aren't, ow, too big of a deal when they're big. They're still just as defeatable because they can be taken out just by torching them. They don't need to be charged. And we'll go like this. But you can tell why it's all magical. Got it, and let's see if we can't save this dragon. First dragon of the day, it's Zakomo. Hello, Sparrow. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Yeah, that sounds about right. I love the guy's accent though, that was really cool. So yeah, first dragon of the day. Now how can I get up there? So let's try this again, maybe this will work out better if I just go for it again. So glide on across, try one more time, and just try to go straight over to that. That might just be what I gotta do. I sure hope so, because it's what I'm trying. Yeah, it worked, okay, so so just get rid of that guy on the cannon, and now I can control the cannon, excellent. And with this, I can point it this way. Hold on, hold on, almost, almost got it. Uh, sort of weird. Perfect, perfect. And I think that's really all I have to worry about with this cannon. I'll look around to make extra sure. But I guess I could, you know, I wanna shrink him, yeah. And that's about everything. So we'll go back to that other area where the guys are small now, soon enough, but not at this moment. For now, boom, dealing with you. This is pretty cool so far though, I like it. Go ahead and get rid of that stuff. Get rid of you. We got the haunted towers over this way. Oh, got some chests hidden back here as well. There's quite a few levels so far. They are pretty well spread out as well though, so gotta be careful. We're looking around for stuff. Oh yeah, I remember this Jester guy. What do I have to do with him? Because I hid him and he turns into, okay, that's actually a lot different than it used to look like. He would just turn into a clock. But yeah, like something will happen whenever you attack these guys and then whenever the time is up, it'll return to what it normally was. I don't think we can glide anywhere from here, but I don't really know. Let's get rid of these mushrooms. And let's go ahead and save another dragon. Let's see who this guy is, it's Mozzie. Hi, Mozzie. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Wow, well, 
<laughs> He's really cool. I can't believe the detail they put into each and every dragon. It's so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into this. Glide across. Go across to this. One more time. Whoa. So I think that's good. That's about all we can do from here. So I can go back to this giant castle and work on some of that stuff. Because there's quite a lot within the castle we'll have to grab and on the other side of it. Go to this dude. Try and earn up as many lives as I can so we can deal with some of the more difficult levels up ahead. Because they're coming and they're tough. But first off, before these guys find a way to grow back to size, I definitely want to try to beat them up. That was good. That was nice. Well, we'll leave that area to explore later. There are some red gems to find over this way. How many are we looking for in total? 300, which actually isn't so bad. Go to view. Oh, hey, look, dragon. <laughs> He's just hanging out by, behind here is Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Ah. Well, that might be a little tough, but we found all the dragons in the magic, or the dream weavers. Yeah, the magic crafters was a previous level. This one is the dream weavers. Yeah, okay. Gotta keep that in mind, not get them mixed up. Yeah, got all the dragons done. That was actually quite easy. Having an easier time than this, than I remember. <laughs> like maybe the remaster version is easier because all these times I'm like, oh, this will be so tough. And it's really not that tough. I mean, some of it's tough, but not crazy amounts. Okay, so it looks like I've gotten everything from back this way, so we can loop back around. Somebody's laughing, I don't know what that was about. And once again, before we get over to, oh gosh, all of that stuff, there should be more around this way that I wanna tackle. Just because I'm trying to get the dead ends figured out first. This is Jack, so yeah, this is the final, you know, the boss for this. That's good, not the final boss of the game, but the uh, final boss for this area. There's only one, and it's him. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's move back this way. And this was the area that was blocked off before. So now we can head up this and see what's going on. This is where things get a little bit more tricky. And you can tell that we, in the distance, have icy flights. That's sort of our reward for making our way through it all. But uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze both of these guys. And as you can see, that'll raise both of these platforms. So we do have to be a bit quick with this. We want it to work. Because if not, uh, that happens. Dang it. Okay, let's try this again. Boom and boom. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, yeah, I cheated the system. <laughs> it's not how you're supposed to do that, but if it works, it works, right? Let me jump over here so I don't get hurt by the explosion. Perfect, couple of blues and reds over this way. So we're getting close to getting them all. Hopefully these three chests will give me 10 of them. Oh, they didn't. I'm still missing three more. Where could they be? Apparently this way? Oh no. Just trying to make sure then. Extra sure, there's none on this side. It looks like it, so we will follow Sparks and see where these last couple ones are missing. Apparently I did a bad job of getting them. Still that way. Okay, they were probably just hidden in the grass. Usually is what happens. Gliding across, perfect. Oh, yep, right here. Gosh darn, that's a little tricky, but perfectly ends up at the first level. Dark Passage, I thought I said Park Passage. Sounds a lot more fun than Dark Passage. We'll give this one a shot and hopefully everything will turn out okay. You can only hope, right? Yeah, so far a good start. We're at 8,300 gems. Earning our way through one level at a time. Maybe that overworld ended up not being that bad, so that's nice and fun. But yeah, we'll give this our best shot and we'll see what ends up happening as we go through this dark and spooky passage. I don't remember what this level could be. Let's take a look though. Ooh, this is a tough one. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a real tough one. Okay, there's a lot of cool enemies with it though. I can't wait to see them. So you can see with this, when the light is on, these guys are sort of just like, not that big of a deal. But when the light is off, it becomes a dark passage and they, they look very evil. So now the light is permanently on when we take care of those guys, which is nice. And that becomes a fun sort of idea with the level. I think this is something we need to get to later. But it's good to keep in mind now. Oh, hi, I didn't even see these puppies, that's scary. They can still try to attack you even when they're just tiny puppies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, watch out, dodge that. I don't know if we can even beat these guys when they're big. Doesn't matter, boom, got them. <laughs> Excellent. Jeez, that is scary. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this stuff before we head up like that. And, oh, hey, a dragon. Let's go ahead and save this dude. Kasaya, cool name. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. 
Now you're thinking. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're thinking with fire. Whoa, these guys are a little weird. They look so devilish. Oh, we got some mushrooms too. Try to take care of these guys, you never know. Yeah, blue butterfly, we're 27 lives, excellent. Super excited to see that. Okay, so first off, always get rid of this guy then, because he'll turn the mean demon dogs into cute little puppies. And then, quickly, quickly, no, these guys, oh my gosh, just chewed me up and spat me out. They're worse than the, oh gosh, not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do, ready? Boom, got it. They're worse than the dogs from the first world. You know, the, the body slamming dogs. Jeez, scary. Go ahead and get rid of him first then. Go like this, and charge this dude. And we gotta be very careful because, I mean, there's no thing around here, luckily. There we go, we got him. Pretty good moves right there. There was no lantern guy, there was just like a light above. Azizi, another cool name. Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> I like his constellation goggles or glasses or whatever they are. Okay, just charge through to this guy. Got him. Excellent. Charge this dude or blast him, torch him. You know what I mean. How many? We're looking for 500 gems now, so that will be a bit tough. Get this guy and then turn back around and focus on the pups. Got him. I feel so bad because they look like instant little doggies when you're attacking them like that, but they attack us still. You know what? Now this is, is this a key chest? I don't think so, I think it's just a normal chest. But I can't get it for now. I'll have to do something about that, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Okay, wait, wait, oh, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Whoop! Oh, he still spat a little fireball as a little turtle, that was adorable. Okay, move over, get that guy, get this guy. Doing pretty well so far, usually I have a hard time going up this. I have no idea what to do about that, that chest because it's not a key chest. Maybe there's like one of those fairies that turns us all in the red, but I'm not really sure. Anyways, let's see if I think our last dragon is Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nook. That's me, all right. Oh, he's so charismatic, and I love that dragon. And there's more stuff. Oh, you see that? Firework, that's it. So you might be wondering what can we even really do now? Well, there's a couple things we can still get done. For ourselves, we can land down that way, which I might have actually wanted to go back around for that to make sure that we just make that jump a-okay. But we can do that first and foremost. And then there'll be another part where we can glide that we'll have to pay attention to. Okay, oh yeah, there's much more going on over this way. So let's just first off make extra sure. Where does this go? Nowhere we haven't seen before, gotcha, okay. Good to know. So we'll have to be careful with this, get rid of the two pups, and jump, oh man, I can't believe that didn't hit me. That was close. But you can tell that we can glide down that way, but we don't wanna do that just yet. We wanna loop around and deal with everything else first. Uh, grab that, there's another yellow gem. You can tell how there's 500 gems in the level now. There's just lots of action. More mushrooms to get a bunch of them, actually. Oh, was that a blue one, or no? Nope, that was just blue sparks. Okay, got that. And there isn't too much to do beyond that here, it's just a dead end. But that's fine, because that's what the other part of this level is for. As you can see. Oh, there is another dragon. Okay, I thought that was the last dragon right there, but I was wrong. Go ahead and charge through these four pups. They don't even know what's happening, they're just chilling out. Oh gosh, whoa. Whoa, you know what? You know what? Boom, torched you. Luckily, the dogs are a little bit more of a threat than the turtles are, if you pay attention because the turtles are just shooting stuff at you most of the time. So, so far, so good. <laughs> oh gosh, what's happening up here? I feel like things are gonna be attacking me right away. Whoa, whoa, oh, you're a turtle. Didn't even see that. Ow, that was sort of rude. Sort of rude, to say the least. Got him, okay. Pick up everything from this corner so I'm not missing nothing. And then we'll deal with the other side. Guys with the bow and arrows, I feel like they were worse than the original game, because their, their projectile is pretty easy to dodge. Got it, okay. Not bad. Pick up all of these and boom, get rid of this guy. We gotta be getting close to another 10, which is pretty nice. And there's something over that way we can't quite get to for now. We'll leave it be. Oh, yeah, here's the other dragon, right? Apara. Hello, Apara. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. <laughs> The only one that's gonna be trapped is him. Spyro's got him, it ain't no problem. So was that the last dragon or is there, there's still more? Yeah, there's a lot of dragons in this level, five in total. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, so let's uh, charge these two like it's no problem, because it really is. And there's nothing down that way. There's a whole bunch of purple goop that I do not want to land in. Whoa. Get you, that was nice. And nothing in this little, yeah, weird little pit right here of nothingness. Odd. What's going on up here? Oh, some more puppies. Gliding, and whoa, watch it. Watch it, little pup. Thank you. Where are we going from here? I guess, yeah, just across this way. Whoa. Oh my, that was a little scary, but we made it work. Oh, and here is probably the final dragon. I'm pretty sure it is Obasi. Another cool name. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. Yeah, but it's just like all the dragons in this one had all cool names and cool things about them. I liked it. Anyways, as you can see, we can glide on over to this side path. Lots of fun little secrets in this level. I really appreciate that part. And I don't think there's any light fixtures around here that we have to worry about. So we can just take these guys out nice and normally. And then I can worry about going back and getting all the gems within. So boom, boom. Nice, we are doing really well. Comparative to how I normally do in this level, I usually get my butt kicked and die a couple of times, but this time things are turning out real nice. Got it and got it. That looks pretty good. Let's fly up this way. And I'm still looking for that firework. Oh, is it here? It's right here, perfect. So grab those two and hope that this will give me 35 gems. It has to or I miss something. It'll be a total pain in the butt. But that looks like it could be 35 gems. Because the blues are five each. Oh, then we totally got it. 500 out of 500 on our first time through. How amazing is that? We did an excellent job. So the first level done in the Dreamweavers. Without too much of an issue, I am super duper happy and proud about that one. So we can fly on back. And I'll probably do the level that's to the left of the Dreamweavers, because there's only one level to the left, and then there's three levels, if you include the boss and the flying, on the right. So it'd be easier to get the left one done, move to the right, do the one level, do the flying, and then do the boss. Pretty sure. So you know what, this might be a snappier episode than some of the other ones if we keep going at this pace. It'll be easy peasy. We can only hope, right? Well, we're back at the Dreamweavers. Definitely make sure I'm still destroying as many mushrooms as I can. Oh, hello, sir. And whatever bad guys we can, because if we could get some extra lives that way, it's always welcome, because there are some tricky levels coming up still. Okay, so yeah, we do have to go around this way to get to the left side. But I really do think this might be my favorite overworld in the game. Like, like, I don't know, I'm so struck between this and the original, because the original is really good too. Got it, boom, boom, boom. They realize their mistake and they just flinch. Got it, got it. Ooh, we are destroying right now. We're about to get our 30th life. But this one just, it looks so cool. I am so excited to see how nice Spyro 2 and 3 look. I'm sure they're gonna look just as awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, ready? Boom, wait, that sort of worked. Can we need two more orbs? Can you get rid of this guy, friend? Are you not even gonna do it? There it goes. Boom. So we just need to get one more, which we'll probably just get on our way over, like this dude. There we go, 30 lives going into Haunted Towers, I think that said. We're about to find out. Entering Haunted Towers, awesome. So I'm trying to remember this one. I do believe I know which one this is, and this one actually has a pretty difficult secret to it, but I don't remember it being haunted. I mean, there's also, there's two levels that have like big towers in them, so. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm sure we'll find out in a moment. They both have some pretty tough secrets, if I remember correctly. So, no matter what, we're in for a ride. It is, oh yeah, it was the first one I was thinking of. Awesome, so this one can be a bit tricky, but it'll be totally worth it. So, yeah, we can knock down these doors. The problem, oh yeah, I remember this. These guys will awaken this thing, this evil. I mean, it's not really haunted. It's not a ghost, it's just magic. Get rid of this guy. Oh. So we need to make sure we stop the magicians as soon as possible because those guys are tough to defeat for now until we run into a friend, a fairy friend, who will make us super powered. Thank you, fairy friend. There we go. So with this, we can charge back this way and we should be able to make quick work of these guys, even with the torching, with whatever else we want. We're gonna make sure we do it quick because as you can see, it doesn't last very long but it's well worth doing. Oh, and we can knock over this door as well, so boom. Wait, no, can we not? Oh, we gotta do the, so we do have to do the torch. Gotcha, Never mind. Well, we're gonna go back and get that again because there were still another couple of suits of armor we could get. That'll be fun. 
So I'll move back this way. Can I get another one of those? That'd be appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> How sweet. So it looks like the fairies are on our side compared to Nasty Nork. I don't know if they just like the dragons or if they just really don't like Nasty Nork. There we go. So that should be everything in this first little segment. I always forget to get that one at the very beginning that we saw that was just collapsed, but I'm glad I got to it this time. So I think, yeah, we need to jump to this. We'll float across and we'll be good to get going with this. Now the thing is, is that there's more of these things. I don't know if I should have done something to get them. Oh no, ow, that hurt. I didn't realize, I always forget. The fireworks can hurt you too. Whoa, I don't know if I should go get the fairies help for these or if there'll be a better way to do it. I don't know. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna go get the fairies help real fast. But also, get these mushrooms. Got them and got them. That'll be good. So let's see if we can't do that real fast. Charge back this way, because the fairy just, it doesn't give you much time, which is the scary thing. So it might not work out perfectly, but we will try our best. Just charge over this way as fast as I can. Get up like that. Glide across. Oh yeah, we're almost out of time already. Got it. Now come on, come on and press circle. Go, go, go. Wait, come on, that was baloney. Get out of here. And then, ah, oh, I missed the last dude. Luckily, he wasn't really alive. And the mushrooms are back too, so they should give me some health. Give it to me. And there should be another one, right? No, it's gone. Oh no, you're back to full though. I guess he ate both of them at once. He's a quick eater. Okay, one more time. I don't know if there's a better way to do this or not. I feel like there is a better way later on, but I don't know for sure, so I'm just trying to do this now so we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to backtrack too much. Ready, jump. Glide across. The, the mushrooms keep respawning, which is sort of wonderful. Get rid of it. And then maybe if we're fast enough, we might even be able to get this and get this dude. Oh, there is there more of them? Uh, there is, but don't wanna worry about it for the moment. We did pretty good with that. <laughs> Grab this. Grab that, and let's also get some bonuses from you guys while we're at it. Two normal butterflies, okay. So not the, the, the blue ones I was looking for, but let's go ahead and get our first dragon in the level. It is Kosoko. Whoa. Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Yep, we've already done it, but good to know. I loved his wings, they looked amazing. Ow, ow, that was rude. Charge this guy, get these dudes out of here. Oh, you know what? There is another fairy right here, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, I almost walked right off the edge. Gotta be careful about that. Get another extra life too while it's waiting for me. And the firework. Boom, that gave us a yellow. Pretty cool. So out of the 500, we're almost halfway through already, so we're making some good work through it all. I gotta say, all the dragons have had really awesome names so far in this Dreamweaver's world. It's just been really cool. But there is some supercharging we'll have to worry about soon enough, which is another big part of this level. All right, is that all the bad guys? It looks like it. So we did pretty nicely there. Oh, let's get rid of you too, before you make more pro problems for me. Whoa, whoa, didn't even realize I was going up here. <laughs> that is weird. Oh, well, we might as well, what's this way? Do I have to get on top of that building? I can't remember. There's a way to get over that way, but I think we should just follow things normally for now. Oh yeah, look at the supercharge. This is so cool. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm going fast. I do think I missed out on some stuff. Uh, oh yeah, okay, I definitely did. You can see these doors are iron, so there's only one way to burst through them. And is there anything I messed up here? Because we, we go so fast, it's really hard to tell. But now I guess that was about it. So, Let's charge through all this again. And, oh, don't hit the wall, perfect. Boom, got through that one. Watch out, watch out, big evil dude. I wonder if I can just hit him with the supercharge. Would that work? We're gonna find out together. Get to the top of here, start running down. Get that major spow. Dang it, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Try again, try again. Okay, get the major speed. Don't hit the wall. So many guys are just screaming. Boom, see ya. That was awesome. I can check this area out a little bit, but I do want to not worry about it so much right now if I can manage. Because there's still that other door I need to burst open and probably tons of other stuff too. <laughs> what is with the, meh, meh. I don't know, they make really silly noises. Okay, so we just got that last door. And dang it, <laughs> try my best. It, it isn't easy, I promise it's harder than it looks. Okay, turn it around. 
And we are moving. Come on, come on. And boom, perfect. Oh, I do remember this now. Oh, I so do. Okay, so there is something tricky we'll have to do later on. Not gonna worry about it at the moment. Oh, blue butterfly, there's 32 lives. Extra life here, so we're at 33. Oh yeah, I do have to charge through to get this as well. Whole bunch of stuff we gotta do then. Got a bit of a laundry list. But let me check out these other doors. It might not be so tough to get to. Like, uh, hey, 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 sneak attack much? Oh, and there's a fairy, right here. Okay, that might actually make it a lot easier. Thank you for the kiss. We're gonna move this way. And I guess the first thing I can do is you could supercharge this and run around the, the circle. I think I've done that in the past. But you can do that just as easily. Probably more easily, actually. But we'll definitely need that super power to destroy some of those guys. Speaking of which, there's one right here. And he's sort of blocking things off. So help me out here, fairy. I need to destroy that suit of armor. Okay, try this again. Just have to loop around ever so out perfectly. Got it. Bust all this stuff. Oh, look at all the treasure he was keeping hidden there. Not for long. Spyro showed him who's boss. And there's another dragon. Cool. Who is this? Oh, we look awesome right now. It is Lutalo. Hi, Lutalo. Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Indeed. He is a very cool looking dragon now. Oh my gosh, they're so also awesome. Oh, Spyro grows to look like that. I mean, or, I mean, Spyro looks great how he is. I don't know what I'm saying, but I wonder when he grows bigger, what he'll look like. They're all just so diverse, which is really fun. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. You know what? I'm gonna get a refill right now if I can. Yeah. Cause I'm just supposed to go straight across onto the staircase, destroy a bunch of the guys in the suits. That's what I gotta do as fast as possible. Got it? and then get across to here. I'm already running out of time though, it's a problem. Got it, awesome. And there should be, oh, there's another one over here. Don't even need it, perfect. <laughs> that was awesome, I just charged through all of them. Oh wait, there's one more, there's one more. Got her, got it, okay. Come on, help me out. Wait, will you not help me out because of the enemies? Oh no, okay, there we go, I just wasn't standing in the right spot. Dang. Okay, well I guess I'll worry about you guys now. Gotcha, and then, gotcha. Easy peasy. How awesome is that? We are charging through this right now. Grab that, and I think that's, oh no, that's not all of them. Got this one right here. So we could return home now if we wanted to, which of course we do not. We have plenty of other things to do first. I grab that one gem I missed. This is such a cool view though, I love it. Okay, so as far as I understand, the one last thing we need to do, and it's quite a thing to do, is run all the way back up this way, turn around, start charging down, and then in this second door, jump off, whoa, we're doing it! Jump, and then glide. Oh, just barely made it, how exciting. Very cool, we get four more butterflies there, and then we can float up this way. And I can't quite get this one, I gotta remember that. Oh hey, look, another dragon. This is Capano. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. Thanks. He was a really cool looking one too. All these purple, blue, and pinks combined together make some very whimsical dragons. Oh, this level, this area, well, this area, this portion of the level, real tough. Let's go ahead and explode that. I wonder if that'll explode the chests next to it. It will. Cool. So where? I know this pops us back down to where we were, so we don't want to do that right now. Oh, but I get it. We need to get all the way around here. Really? Unless I missed one, which I don't think I did. I did not. We need to get to a, or maybe I'm wrong. I feel like there's more than one way to do this. Because I think that if we're fast enough, we can actually get to the end before he makes all these guys alive. So I'm gonna try for that now. Oh gosh, it's scary though, because then he gets really fast with it. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Got him, awesome. And then if we go through this door, yep, there's a fairy waiting for us. Oh, she looks a little different. But she does the same thing? Why does it, Why is this the only one that looks different? <laughs> That's a little weird. Anyways, I might as well take my time and explode some of this stuff, turn back over, get another kiss if we can. No, wait. Well, oh, this one's permanent. Look at this, there's no meter. I was like, what's going on with this? Yeah, she's like a next level fairy. How cool is that? See ya, buddy. You're gone. 
out of here. What about you? Not a problem. Yeah, do we just get to keep this forever? We just for- Ow! Ooh! He just slam dunked me! Yikes, there goes all my momentum. <laughs> I was feeling so good about myself. Okay. Get rid of that guy. And then finally, boom. But we're still missing a little bit. Oh, scrap metal, cool. But I know exactly where it is. Can we just stay as Super Saiyan Spyro for a little bit? That'd be pretty cool. Just like for the rest of the game. I'd be pleased. And boom. How many gems did that give us? A fair amount, but enough to get us to 500? It is. Well, look at that. 100% level complete. Not so bad after, oh gosh. No turn around. No! <laughs> Not so bad after all, I said. Maybe I changed my mind. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's return home. So that was the second level in the Dreamweaver's done without too much of an issue. I had a good time with that too. It feels like some of the more dreadful levels have actually been a fun time, except for the treetops in the last episode. That one was still treacherous, but everything else has been pretty splendid. I love it. All right, well, 9,300 gems in total, and we're gonna get a ton more as we explore the rest of the overworld. So we had to go to the far right now, get one more level, then a flight level, and then the boss. So pretty good progress if you ask me. Hmm. Yep, okay, wait, where am I? Oh no, I'm back where we were. Okay, that's good. Then I guess uh, I should probably go this way. Ow, yeah. Probably be a bit of, better of a situation to do, so fly up like that. I don't know if there's any skill points we can get in these areas. I might as well try to get them now, you know? I right, take a look, skill points. I mean, I haven't unlocked any of the, oh, this is the art gallery. I thought there was like a third page I'd have to unlock. But yeah, I haven't really done any of these. Haunted Towers, Burn Blue Wizard Hat. I didn't see that. Dreamweaver's Secret Room. Where is that? Ooh, there is definitely some stuff I missed out on. I wanna find that stuff out for sure. That would be really cool. I don't know about a secret room around here. Not, at least not anything I haven't found. Weird, I wanna check that out for sure, whatever that could be. But a lot of that stuff will probably be saved for the bonus episode, like I said. But hey, for right now, I don't have to worry about any of it. All I gotta worry about is torching this dude. Moving around the corner and going to our next level, which is Lofty Castle. All right, well, that should be pretty awesome. And here we are. So, this is a weird level. There's just sort of a lot going on with it, and you have to do a lot of exploring. There's like sort of different floating islands. I guess you can see that on the map. And get these little puffy things too, the little puffy dragons. Let's go ahead and get one. Ready, boom. <laughs> I guess they're more like birds than they are dragons. I mean, yeah, we're a dragon. They don't really look too much like us, but they sort of, I don't know why I thought they were dragons. They're clearly birds. And then there's this guy who's floating around in his balloon. If you really want to take him out properly, you have to take out the balloons. You have to wait for him to float down like that. But he can be a bit tough. He can just smack you when you least expect it. Let's get rid of this guy and this dude. Were you trying to attack me there? Oh, this gem. He's sort of in a precarious position. I've never seen a gem do that. Dang it, gem. Why'd you do that? <laughs> oh, come on. So let's try that again, maybe. We're reigniting. I'll have to take out all those enemies again. But luckily we got their gems, which makes it a bit easier. Okay, get across to you. You're going down. Give me that. Go back across this way. Oh, the music here is really cool as well. I like it. It's just so whimsical. It really does fit the scene, which is always cool. Man, is this level cool just to look at in HD. Like, there's so much moving parts to it too, especially when you look at it like this. It's a very populated looking level, which honestly not every Spyro level has that, so. That can be super duper cool. Okay, grab some of that. And try to work on this stuff. Oh, there's a poor fairy stuck in the cage. Yeah, well, okay, well he freed her for us. Awesome, that wasn't even me. Can't quite get her at the moment. But yeah, I think we need to get more than one fairy for them to activate this little boost panel. Not boost panel, it's more like a, uh, you know, like one of the levitation spots. To keep that in mind. Light up these fireworks and save another one. Do not feed, I'm sure you're starving, the poor thing. Go ahead and grab that. And oh, we gotta time our glide just right if we wanna be able to take out this balloon. Not thought or doom, gosh darn it, we fell with him. <laughs> Not what I wanted, it, it got sort of closer to me more than I expected. Ah, oh, man, I am not playing very, very well on this level so far, I can say that much. Let's try to fix that, huh? Um, Go back across, get rid of you. I mean, I don't really know if I should be going the extra the mile here for everything. I just wanna be able to get some level ups, while, while, not level ups. Extra lives. I don't know where I'm getting all my terminology mixed up from, but I definitely am. Okay, 
Get on over to this area. Boom. Got it. Get rid of you. Ow, you got me too. Let's go ahead and get some of the mushrooms then. Got this dude right here. Sparks never even picked up this one. Oh, it's a blue one. Yeah, 31 lives. So we're back over 30, which is great. So let's try to time this again right when he's at like the apex of his flotation. Yeah, and save the third fairy. All right, all three fairies are saved. I think I'm supposed to get this way. I definitely can't make it over there from now. But hey, that's fine. This is sort of the big center island where there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. But hey, one of the things to do is to talk to a dragon. It's Mudada. Hi, Mudada. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. <laughs> Got a little fairy doll. That's cute. Okay, so, oh gosh. Now these guys are not on our side, but they're definitely not fairies either. Yeah, fairies are sort of a big part of this level. Oh, this is the key over here, so we'll have to keep that in mind. We can cash in the key. Oh, and here's another fairy we need to help out. I guess it's why the fairies are being locked up because they're on our side. But you know what, we gotta help them for that same reason. Okay, get rid of you. Since we're down here now, we gotta get all these fairies to get back out, I think. Okay, grab some of that, doing pretty well. We got two of the fairies now, which, oh, oh, I missed this stuff. Gotta make sure I get it now because I might forget later, so always worth it to get it now. And here's the last one. All right, they're all saved, which means we should be able to move back. Oh, we might even beat you there. And we're good to go. Get back up this way. And yeah, we're, we're gonna have to find a key somewhere to get that. That's fine, we can worry about everything else for now. Hmm. I don't know which direction is best to go first. I'm thinking it might be this way. This way might be sort of kind of a bit of a dead end. This we'll find out. And whoa, hey, hey, oh, I just barely dodged that. I don't think I can get your balloon from here. So I'll leave you be for now, but buddy, I'm coming back with a vengeance. And slightly more elevated. Oh, we rescued Baruti. Thank you for releasing me. You're very welcome. I gotta be honest, the actual voice lines have not been as creative. I mean, obviously that's you know the same in the original game, but the designs of the actual characters and their names have been great. I love the names, but also just like the designs have been insane. I love them. Okay, so let's try to make our way over like this. And be careful, this guy. You would think that he wouldn't want to do that. It just seems inherently dangerous to just be floating around like that. There's definitely some more stuff we missed over there. I don't even think we've been over there, so I can't really say that we missed them, but that we may miss if we don't pay attention. It's more like it. Okay, so we'll try this out now. I'm gonna glide across. Perfect. And be careful of all this. Boom. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so so far so good with everything. Whoa, wait, how did, how did you get taken out? That was weird. So the fairies all went over that way, got you. Should I go over there for now or should I leave that? I think I'm gonna leave that for now. Worry about some of this stuff, because I think one of this stuff is like a dead end and loops around a little bit, the other does not. What is this? Oh, you know what, I think I remember this. Yeah, I need to glide and like beat these guys up. I didn't do a very good job, as you can see. Might have to give it a second shot, but that's A-OK -okay with me. It's pretty fun to do, it's like a slide, but it's, you know, glide. Come on, come on. Did I get you? No, I missed you. Dang it! <laughs> You're pretty quick. Oh, and there's a couple of gems down here too, so it's actually good that I fell. I might have missed these. Got him. No, hey, watch where you're swinging, buddy. That was rude. Did I get both of those? I did indeed. Whoa. Oh, but I saved them all, so they want to bring me up that way. I'll, do, I'll gladly do that in just one moment. I just want to get rid of this jerk. There we go. I want to make sure everybody who locked up these fairies pays for it, because they didn't do nothing wrong. They're just trying to help Spyro. And here we are. Oh, hey, another dragon. Awesome. So this is Useni. Ah, oh, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Wow. I want to know that guy's backstory. He had like some cool designs on him. He had like an electrified set of horns. And we get a key. Like, and it's just like, oh, he was so cool. I want to know more about him right now. Anyways, oh, and speaking of supercharge, I guess that's what he was talking about. There's some supercharging to be done right over this way. Yeah, I don't know where this is going to lead to. 
Whoa, okay, we're way back this way. Got you, whoa, don't go too fast because I do need to pick up stuff on this little platform before we fall back down. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Because we're looking for a mass of 400 gems. But now that I've gotten this key, I can plop down this way as well and get ourselves a new thing. Yeah, okay. That was about like, what, 25 gems? It was worth it, definitely worth it. Not a huge amount, but something good. But now we can loop back around and figure everything else out as well, you know? We can go to that other direction that we unlocked with the fairies, which should be that way, right? Or no, 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 this is the way I came from. Gotcha. Okay, no, not what I wanted. <laughs> Gotta just go around the long way, like this. And let's hope that everything turns out okay if I go this way. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing at the moment from the other direction. I think we got everything pretty well. There might be another where, place I can supercharge to. I guess we'll have to find out. For right now, oh, is that guy gonna shoot at me from there? Wow, whoa, does he have a friend? He has a friend. Whoop, boom. Okay, we'll try to dodge those guys as much as we can. They're a little bit rude, to say the least. Got it. Okay, so yeah, this is where, like, we sort of started the level over that way. And this is where a lot more action is happening. And we're pretty close to the big 400. You know what we haven't done in a little while? We haven't gotten a dragon egg. Is there only 12 of them in the game? Because it's been like a two worlds now. We haven't gotten a dragon egg. So maybe we've gotten them all. Maybe they're all just early in the game. Go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of this. Very good. Don't forget that. And how about this guy? Yeah, we did pretty good with those. Trying to make sure I don't miss any of these gems as well as I can. Okay. So with all of that, I can float up this way. Should just bring me right on across to another fairy and destroy you. Oh, I missed. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> Roar. Those guys have funny voices. Get this dude. Oh, that's another 10 gems right there. So we actually might be pretty close to the end here. Let's see how many gems getting up here gets me. We'll be able to see for ourselves. I mean, that's a yellow and a blue. So not quite everything. We're still missing 12 gems. And Sparks is saying, I gotta go that way. Oh, I see them, I see them. Okay. How do I get over there? Or so it's the best case of, like, the best way. Hmm, they're in a weird spot. But I think if I just get over there normally, it might just be my best bet. I think I just didn't thoroughly explore everything. Yeah, I didn't go up this way. I forgot about this. Yeah, that was totally my fault. I got some of that right there. And that's all 400 of them. Awesome, so this level is 100% complete. Yet, yet again, no egg in this one, because when we do have eggs, like in the Magic Crafters world, it'll tell you. So we just, we haven't had an egg in, yeah, almost two, four worlds now. So hopefully we run into some more soon. I want to save those baby dragons. I don't know if you ever get to see the baby dragons. I sure hope you do eventually, though. Like in Spyro 2 or 3, that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, we should be good to go back, so let's do that. Oh, there's a blue butterfly. 34 lives in total. It couldn't have gone any better so far in today's episode. I mean, there's still more time for things to go badly. Oh gosh, like that. Could have just fell to my doom, jumped right past it. But we're good, so the Dreamweavers, back to it. We just got this castle done, which means we had the flight level and then the boss, and we should be good to go. By then, we should definitely have over 10,000 gems, which is pretty awesome. I'm excited for the next episode. The next world is a pretty cool one as well. It's a bit different though. You guys will see what I mean when we get there. Don't wanna jump the gun too much with that one. But for now, we're heading back. Okay, so level 100% complete, of course it is. We need to go back out to the front of this castle. Ow, dude! Get out of here, be gone. Let me go ahead and get one of those butterflies now. How rude was that dude? So we're gonna run back around. And is this guy, oh, are these guys back? Oh, quickly, yeah, before they got big. I was able to take them down. And, yeah, that's the icy flight. We just have to get there. That's sort of the challenge right now. Um, Is this guy for this one? No, he's for the other one, darn. Um, I'm gonna try to get him closer over this way so that when he starts raising it. Yeah, I think in the original version, those raise immediately, so you can't really cheat it like that, but in here you can. Anyways. Icy flight, let's give this a shot and hopefully everything will turn out okay. I don't remember this one's tough or not. I know that the boss fight is one of the most difficult levels just in general. There are some sneaky spots to it too. We really gotta figure it out. 
it's a smaller level, but like very jam-packed with a lot of tough things. Anyways, maybe I'm, once again, thinking too soon with all that. That was a weird looking moon in the sky. Ooh, this is a cool one, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Oh, this is so vibrant and beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna beat as many of these helicopter guys up. Got it. Okay, uh, there's another one. This way, are they all in this little area? I don't think so, I think some of them are down this way. Like, I'm gonna chase this guy, and boom, got him. He's out of my way now, and there's a couple more of them. Oh gosh, whoa, 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 Spyro, whoa, whoa. I, dude, <laughs> or try. We almost got all the helicopter dudes. Only needed three more, I was trying to get to another one. Okay, one more time, and, and those lanterns I just passed. I need to start doing those as well. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so I need to work on this guy, turn back around, grab that dude, because I got distracted by all the helicopters. I didn't even see that train before. Uh -huh. All right, got it. Move back around, and well, where'd you go? Oh, you are tricky, real tricky. Okay, here's another train now. Maybe it was for the better. Got him, okay, so move back this way now. And we are going to sort of catch up with everything. Get rid of this guy, this time not run into the thing, which is perfect. And then this guy. Any other trains? Not yet, so we're just gonna turn around. Ooh, pretty cool turns there. And we're going through this, we're down to 10 seconds though, so maybe this wasn't my best course of action. But for right now I can torch this thing Keep moving through. We got four seconds left, we need more time from these. I'm not getting enough at the moment. Ooh, here we go, this is where things get rather jam-packed. I'm missing a lot of it though. Got it. Okay. Ooh, we're fighting the time right now. Fighting that timer. I can't believe we missed that one. That was ridiculous. Come on, keep going. Did we get that? I don't think we did. Oh, it's too late now. Too late, too late, ah! That is so tough. I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do it. Or at least that we can do it a little bit more reliably. Maybe I could like light this thing up, move this way, get rid of these two, just like that. Get this guy, a horror missing entirely. That's really what I don't need, is to miss things right now. Get this dude before he finishes taunting me. Show him my wrath, and then Get this guy, perfect, oh gosh. Oh, come on, Spyro, <laughs> you dingus, what are you doing? I'm gonna try a different pathway this time. Maybe it'd be easier, maybe it wouldn't be, but maybe if we just go straight for now, grab all this stuff, because I feel like this stuff can be even more difficult. Oh gosh, see, I already missed something because I didn't know it was there. So I'm gonna have to grab that, and I missed that too. Aye, 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 got it, and boom. Don't forget this, awesome. I'm gonna have to grab that. So I gotta turn around now. Cause I missed this chest. I wanna make sure we get this. So my timing already isn't perfect, but I feel like it's better. We still have 20 seconds left. I'm grabbing these things at a fairly good rate. We only need one more chest that's somewhere around here. Did I miss it? I may have missed it cause I don't see a chest. Okay, here. Is that the last one? It is. Whoa, Spyro, don't fall. And I think there's one more little thing on this side. Got it. So now we can move through all of this backwards, which may be better for running into the trains. Like these ones. Did I get them both? I think I got them both. I, I sure hope so. Get rid of this guy. Ha ha ha. They have some funny laughs. Oh, here's another train. Got it. Got it. Because there's only three in this area, so that's good. Keep moving. We were, we might actually be able to do this this time. Get rid of these two. Get rid of that guy. Turn back around. This dude, oh, here's the train. Got him, okay, we're missing two more dudes, which is this one and this one. We got it. A bit of a challenge, but I just had to sort of reconfigure my path, and once I did, as you can see, we got all the barrels, lights, chests, and copters all in one. Very nice. Let's quit, I was gonna press retry, which is not what I want. Awesome. So that means that we can head back, take on the boss fight, and be done with the Dreamweavers. That'll be exciting. And look at that, a whopping 10,000 gems. Okay, so now that we've done all that, we're back at the Dreamweaver's overworld, and I can move this way, as we've already seen before. And check this out, we got Jacques. I didn't say that's not Jacques, it's Jacques. Jacques, maybe, I don't know. 
But hey, we'll try this out. Like I said, this is a bit of a treacherous boss fight. I think that, I mean, the boss fight itself, I honestly don't remember being that bad, but the level, there are a lot of sneaky little pathways, but I think I remember most of, the, most of them. So we can only hope that things will turn out okay as we head on in. This level loaded really quick. It's not that big, huge level kind of a level. It's more just like, Jam-packed full of stuff, like, look at these creepy dudes. They luckily look r less creepy than they originally did, but they're definitely not so friendly. Like this guy, but this girl with the flower, I guess, I don't know. There we go. And there's a lot of these clock guys, and these guys actually play a huge part of the level that we'll be seeing soon enough. But I figured the best thing we can do at the moment is just sort of make our way through. Oh, these guys are tough, because you have to sort of jump and charge. But we'll be just trying to clear our way through with the easier stuff for now. Just try to do the stuff that makes sense, I suppose. Whoa, get rid of you. But yeah, later on when we're looking for those last couple of gems, paying attention to the guys with the clocks will be our biggest focus because they will probably lead us to a good secret or two. And it's definitely true. Okay, so we need to hit you. But before I do, let me get this gem. That was pretty good. Don't think I missed anything back that way, so I can just land on this. Oh gosh, oh, that's a problem. Yeah, just, yeah, just get him set up again. Perfect. I cheated it once more. But I, okay, for a second I thought I just wasn't able to make that jump. I was gonna say, that's very weird. Okay, so, gotta grab some of this stuff. And whoop, hold on. That wasn't so bad. A lot of floating platforms, just floating because I guess they're just magical. Let's grab this dude and then jump on this platform real fast, pretty good. I think there's more yeah, more of these spooky guys. They were way creepier in the original game. Oh, and there's even a key spot. I think actually the key's not so far away. And down this way it's where Jox is, so I don't want to bother with that just yet. Oh, 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 I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Let's go back and get him. Boom. <laughs> that is super satisfying though. When you can make that jump right, go ahead and grab this extra life. 35 lives now. Wonder if we can break 40 lives, not 50 for sure. I mean, we can break 40 lives before everything is done in this first game, that'd be pretty cool. Unfortunately, I do not think our lives transfer over. But yeah, this is actually another tricky one. We need to hit both of these timer dudes so that I can get up here and then climb, or climb, I guess like fly into this little cave where the key is. So good to keep in mind. We'll probably, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Dang it, not what I wanted. That stinks. I mean, I think, well, we haven't run into a dragon yet, so I'm gonna start way back at the beginning which may be worthwhile, because I actually did want to go to the left now, because um, that's where we're actually doing, we're sort of looping around the long way. So maybe this will be a little bit easier, and we might be able to get another level up, just through destroying some guys. That would be nice. So one thing you may have noticed is that when I torch this guy, he'll turn on the clock, but, okay, never mind. No, he moves something. But I think then it must be this guy with the clock, you torch him and nothing really happens over here because nothing is happening over here. In fact, he's lowering a platform over this way, right here. So this is one of the trickiest spots of this level. A lot of people miss out on this detail. And then once you're back up here, look at this, we got ourselves a dragon. And this is Unika. Hello, Unika. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Oh, you're so very welcome. I liked your little harp, that was cute. Go ahead and grab some of this stuff. There's another uh, timer guy. There's more than one way to go here. I think I have to hit the timer guy, who's just going on a leisurely jog. Yeah, and that unlocks like a platform which I can use to glide. Go up this way, and boom, perfect. This level has been super pretty though. I love the lava sort of clashing with all the greens of the grass and stuff, like it looks pretty cool. Whoop, no, wait, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Gosh darn it. Another death, how unnecessary. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, we gotta try that again. But this is just where it gets tough, you know? It's like you can make a lot of wrong moves. That's why it's good to have over 30 lives because we really do need them a lot of the time. No, don't go. I would stink if I jumped off right now because I'd have to come back the hard way. Got it. Getting across like that. I got all these. Yeah, I guess the mistake I made here is I'm supposed to glide off from here. Yeah, okay, that's a lot easier. Where is it? Oh, I still just barely made it. Get some tough jumps like that. Got it. Okay, so moving this way, we're just, yeah, now we're just floating back. So that was all for this one, which is why I wanted to sort of tackle it. That it would be easier. What? What? I went through the thing. Why did I go through the thing? That is not cool. 
Oh man, now I'm unnecessarily losing lives left and right. Okay, one more time. I don't wanna go forward, I wanna turn around, and instead of going through that right path, now we got one to the left. it will be hopefully easier to deal with. Hopefully we're not too far from getting our 10th mushroom. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, I remember this being tough. We need to glide through and try to like torch them on the way down. I can't believe I did it all in one go, that was cool. Jacques Tocular. Huh, interesting. I don't know what that's for. Maybe just doing that correctly, or maybe it's, I don't know, just taking care of all the enemies in this area, something like that. Anyways, we should be good to move back now. We don't have everything in the level quite yet. Oh no, oh no. Did I do that incorrectly? I think I just didn't make the jump right. I am dying way too much in this segment. Way, way, way too much. I had to go over there and take those guys out because I haven't gotten their gems yet. Okay, much better. Boom, ow, rude, get out of here. And you two, I'm done with both of you. <laughs> Grab these two things, we're getting very close. I mean, actually, no, we're not, we're only halfway through. Ay, ay, ay. Oh no, oh, I thought I wasn't gonna make that one. Then we've dealt with all of this pretty well. I mean, I do need to take you both out again, because I can't get across if I don't. Even though we've already gone across here before. I do it, ow, I didn't realize it could reach me from there. I do not appreciate that, sir. Oh, jeez, these guys are tough. I don't even have a Sparks right now. That's so rude. There really is no invincibility frames to this game whatsoever. You get hit twice, you're getting hit twice, even if it's immediately right next to each other. It is so tough. I need to loop back around and just go from the right because that's just sort of an easier way to get through it all. So I'm gonna ignore all of you. Oh, I can't. Oh, I cannot. Mm. Dude, you're the worst. I am not inviting you to my next birthday party, that's for sure. Got it, and boom. Okay, let's try to be careful. Oh, try to dodge, please try to dodge. You're so threatening. Ugh, leave me alone, ah, uh, oh, ready? Yeah, okay, we got him, we got the guys that matter. Because we've already gotten everything else there. So we can now cash in this key, which would hopefully give us a good chunk. Oh, it gave us a purple ones. That's 25 right there. And then we should be good with all of that. We don't have to go back down there. So let's go down this way now, where there's a bunch happening, including a dragon to talk to. Revelo. Revelo? I don't know. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? <laughs> uh, huh? Okay. Well, 74th dragon, this is Jocks. He's not pretty. He's very scary looking, to be honest with you. So we gotta jump up high and try to get him. And also dodge all the foxes he's throwing at us. Oh, we got him! That was good. Does he drop a gem or no? I guess not. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, no, 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 no! Are you kidding me? That was baloney! That was baloney! We got stuck on the corner! Ah. That is the worst. Try that again. Come on, Jocks. What are you doing? Reignite. Going through. Okay, you get back here. You get back here. Right now. Mm, got you. That was good. Didn't like that very much, did he? Oh. Got him. That was good. Okay, so now we've done that. Gotta go across. Oh, hopefully we make this one this time. Don't get stuck on a corner. Mm. Dude, yeah, you better run. Oh, oh, no, 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 come on, this this guy is tough. I gotta time that a little bit better, don't I? Jeez, he's getting me good right now. I like how when you see Dra or Spyro flying by, you can see his tongue sticking out. There we go. Cause like a lot of this, you can't even hit him until he's on one of these boxes specifically. Okay, get across. Just like that, perfect. Wait here, go up. Now we've got it figured out. No way is he gonna get us this time. What? What? I was... Okay, try to dodge that box, excellent. I've never had so much difficulty with this. Oh, it's good, but acquired, I guess I didn't get hit that time. We get 325s, but that's not enough. We're still short 75 gems. Are they up here? They are not, so I'm still, actually no they are. Excellent, so 500 out of 500, which should mean we are 100% complete with this level, and in general, this 
whole overworld. How excellent. But yeah, I, I also really did pay it forward. I did so well throughout this episode, at least I feel like I did. But then right at the end, I have not died so often to a, <laughs> to a boss in this game before. I, have, I died to him like four or five extra times just on the same spots. I, I kept on missing that ledge. I kept getting hit by the box and falling into the lava. It's the same thing. I didn't learn my lesson. But hey, I eventually did because we beat him without taking any hits. We got the level 100% complete. And with that being said, it means we are all finished up with today's episode as well. Next episode, we'll be tackling what is technically, well, I mean, I guess, yeah, it isn't even technical. It is the last area of the, of the game. I do want to find my way. Oh, you know, I was already next to the exit point. <laughs> They'll be done with the net last exit or last last area of the game in the next episode. And then we'll be moving on to Spyro 2 eventually. It'll be a lot of fun. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Reignited Zebra. So now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and joining the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.